VFC HK416D. Hey, Gigi, Sergeant Sucky Pizza gets a shirt. sight limit on point twos but able to hop point threes well at the moment this thing can't hop point threes and on point twos with the hop set as high as I can set it 237 is the power that ain't good enough I'm gonna try flat hopping his original rubber and see if that works because I want to know so flat hopping it's easy enough will make a fucking meal out of it. I don't know why flat hop rubbers cost so fucking much money when they're simpler and cheaper to make than regular rubbers. First things first, we turn it inside out. We look for any holes or burrs or anything like that. And this one's fine. Then, using the front of the barrel, put it on that way. The idea is we're going to remove that lip and remove that divot. Then when it's removed we slide it onto the barrel at a 90 degree angle, there's your flat hop. Okay, we're going to look for any holes that might have been caused. None so far. Finish the job. And there it is. This really is just morbid curiosity. Now, there's no way that standard nub is going to be able to put enough tension on that rubber to give it any hop whatsoever. But don't worry about that, because there's a fucking trick to that. Too. I am worse than your mum or your wife when it comes to fucking keeping plastic bags, all right? I keep everything, because you never know. Here is a really nasty JG hop rubber. As you can see, I've been cutting off little sections of it. I wonder fucking why. That is a really hard tensioner. That might work. We're going to lay our little patch in that hole. Chance of you fucking seeing that is minimal. All right, but there it is in the hole. Lovely. Then pin back through. And let's see if we hop. We hop. I've got that on full hop right now to see what happens. Let's reassemble. Oh. Jesus Christ. You fucking bastard. Tight fit. Right. Power's got up by 10 FPS. 
So let's see if it's actually hopping a point three now. It's skying point twos. Okay, that is now allowing point threes to drift nicely. So, now that I know it works, I'll do it with a different rubber, a better rubber, and we'll go from there. Before I do, we're gonna change the power. Now, normally when the VFC guns hit the UK, they are coming in around 280, 290 feet per second, uh, hopping a point two. It's very normal, these things are set up like fuck, because they're not meant for the UK, they are meant for every other country, 400 feet per second. They literally just throw a fucking M80 spring in here and be done with it. Right, this is being held by something. I don't know what yet. Ah, oh, you cunt bandit. Oh, fuck. It's still grabbing. Oh my god. Look at that. That's been ground away with a tool to get it to fit. That's a factory thing. See that shit? So this has never been opened up because the sticker appears to be intact. Sprung gears. That one, got a tiny bit of play, but nothing major. But obviously these ones where they, have, they are sprung, it, 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 I don't get it. I don't get why it have sprung gears. It doesn't make any sense. It's like having no shimming. It just, it's so fucking pointless. I think it's just a cheap and quick way for the factory to get these in there, you know? It's the only way I can think about it. The, the sprung shimming on these, it's just not good. not good. So this goes back to what I say about VFC every single time. This is being a fucking mare. Literally, amazing externals like every VFC and just shit internals just like VFC. Basically, you can't get the motor back inside here at the angle it wants. Now this came in wired with both wires on each side. I've done my best to try and root it under, it doesn't work. I've rooted them back on the sides, it doesn't work. It's locking up, not because of anything else inside here, it's locking up because the pistol grip and motor, it's sit the motor's sitting at such a fucked angle that the whole fucking thing, you can't get that motor in. You can get the motor in manually with your thumb when you realise where that angle needs to be in order to engage the gears smoothly, you realise that this pistol grip is not going to allow that motor to go in at that angle. It's not going to allow it. It's blowing fuses. It's being fucking awful. So, I'm now going to strip it all apart once more and see if I can figure out a way. And chances are, I'll have to shim this in a way that it doesn't want to be shimmed. And that will bug the crap out of me. And there goes the Allen heads. I fucking hate Allen heads. I hate Allen heads. Still the same thing. Still the same thing. It cannot go in at that angle. Something is totally fucked with that. Okay, so this is without the adjustment screwing because I don't want to risk it. Nothing. Already nothing. You can hear it. It will not do it. Will not turn it over. One more thing I can try, so I'm making something. Because that's what you do, right? You make things. I want to point out I'm making this fast, not making this good. That is going to get gripped between some sponge in the vise. I'm going to plug the battery in to make it turn. I'm going to get the angle grinder locked in a certain position and I'm going to round this out. As you can see, that is now rounded off on the corners. Maybe that will make a difference. Please let that make a fucking difference. 
same fucking thing. It just can't go in at that angle. It's not, it can't go in at that angle. pushing it in so deep, so deep. It's too fucking deep. It's fucking not, ouch, it's fucking hot is what it is. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Yeah, boy, now that is fucking in there. Little bit noisy, little bit noisy but I haven't got this in here to tune it, so. Right, this fucking thing, I had to turn off the camera because I was gonna run out of storage. I don't know why people are still buying VFC guns, I don't. There are things different about this that I've not experienced in a little while, so I wanna run through them very quickly. First of all, this is the more classic design of VFC gearbox. It's a good enough gearbox. This is not the newest version of the body, but it's certainly not the oldest version of the receiver setup. The gun was purchased brand new. No one's been inside it. There is no one to blame for this shit apart from VFC. There has to be a point in time when you decide how much time am I gonna spend on this? How much of somebody's money am I willing to piss away on this? Now, it's a 450 quid gun. And I get it, the externals and the quality, the fit and finish is impeccable. I ran the calipers over every last part and everything is just fucking perfect. There's no reason why this gearbox shouldn't work well inside this gun. This fucking pistol grip is at such a pissed angle that it doesn't marry up with this gearbox. And the only way I could stop this thing from sounding like I'd just released 50 prison inmates into a fucking nonce ring was to fucking rip out the gearbox and try it with a different gearbox. So right now, it's got an ENC gearbox in it, and it's flawless. It fires amazingly. The spring that I put inside here, that I managed to get about 320 FPS with no hop on from this spring. It didn't feel like a massive spring, but I thought, oh, it seems a bit low. I tried a flat hop rubber. I tried with the maple leaf rubber, and it wasn't having it. It just felt limp, and it was just wrong. I put that spring into the ENC gearbox, 408 feet per second, with the hop set for two eighths. Trying to get this gearbox in and out of the receiver, it's a struggle, man. It fucking, it's so tight. Now there's little things that have happened inside this receiver. The back of it here has been perfectly rounded out with a very particular tool and that's a factory job. That's a factory job. And that was just to get this gearbox in. Now, I assumed if the pistol grip pissed, surely it wouldn't sound good with just an ENC gearbox in it. And I've got to say, the reason I loved Spetzer Arms to start with is because it was the ENC gearbox inside it. They're a fucking great gearbox. No bells, no whistles, quick change spring, fucking good, a good gearbox. So on semi, it feels and sounds better and performs better than this gearbox. No misfeeds, no fuck ups, everything was fine. The only two thing that it doesn't like is this doesn't release the bolt release, the bolt cover properly. And this is a little bit sticky for now. Just a little bit sticky. But that, I can, I can sort that out. 
that's the only downside to this so far. Now bear in mind, I wasn't getting that performance on this gearbox and this motor out of the 11 one 2600 milliamp 25C. It was slower than that and it was locking up and it was fucking getting red hot, really red hot. This is a little old 7.4 that I've had, must be going on five years, must be. And I've used this to death. It's been sat in a dusty old mall, just uncharged. I've charged it up for the first time in fuck knows how long. You know, what the fuck? That's just absolutely absurd. So, the, the, the solution is simple. I've, e I've got to either take this entire thing apart and replace almost everything on the inside trying to figure out where the problem is, or just put the ENC gearbox in there. Now let's talk about the amount of time it's going to take to fuck around with that, and the amount of time it's going to take me to change out the gears, the cost of the gears, to change out the piston, the cost of the piston, the si da -da 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 -da. all that fucking around, when that is performing beautifully. I keep these things in stock because I love them. So. I'm simply swapping out the gearbox. The customer has agreed. That's the best thing for it. So what I'm going to do at a later date is I'm going to take this gearbox, which is shit, and I'm going to try and put it into another gun and see if it functions properly, you know? I don't mind, you know, the, the, the ENC gearbox cost me money. Yes, this is a more expensive gearbox, but it's fucking terrible. It's just terrible. Something is wrong there, and I don't know what it is. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out the maple leaf and uh, before I was getting better results with flat hop. So that was down to the fuck setup of the gearbox. But do you know what I'm going to do? I want to see what happens if I put the flat hop in there now. I want to know what happens because I need to know what happens. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm now going to put the flat hop back in there. Once the flat hop's back in, I'll have a little fiddle, sort out all this sticking and then it's going to get its paint job and it'll be done. But that. Why are people still buying VFC? I don't get it. You know, spring-loaded fucking shims on the gears. Spring-loaded shims. The only way I could make this thing function was to shim it terribly. You know, it was noisy, but at least the fucking gears turned without locking the piston. Oh my God, fucking nightmare. And there you go. That's how she turned out. The flat hop is infinitely fucking better now, but I'm still getting the same results from the maple leaf. I'm leaving the flat hop in there, but I am getting the same results now the gun is firing in a decent manner from the maple leaf. I'm seeing no difference whatsoever, like none. That's not to say the fucking maple leaf is better, and that's not to say that the flat hop isn't working, um, but, at this power, with this weight ammo, in this country, it really doesn't matter. However, because I'm making the flat hot rubbers, it's fucking cheaper. Definitely fucking cheaper. You check out the shading that I've put around here. The plan was just to give it the tan finish, but it just looks like a sprayed gun, and I just don't like that. So I kind of cut the guy a deal in that I said I would do an extra hour of paint job for free if I can just shade it up a little bit and make it look better. At the end of the day, it's my fucking name attached to it and a boring bit of paint job just doesn't do it for me. And I like to be creative. You can't be creative, what's the fucking point? What's the fucking point? And I don't know what that white shit is there, but it will not come off. I'm it. <laughs>